this is Minecraft Education Edition. It's a version of Minecraft that we released last year just for schools. Um, it's the, the gameplay experience is the same as regular Minecraft, but we've added some features that make it easier for schools to purchase and use it. So one of the things we have is we connect to the student's Office 365 account. So you can see here this character has a name over their head, and that's going to show up everywhere in the game. We've also made different skins available for the avatar, so you can change what the avatar looks like. So students can come in and kind of personalize and customize, which they really like. Um, in other versions of the game, many of these are paid, but these are free in the Education Edition. Um, so when we launch into the game, I'm going to go in here, and I'm just going to launch into a world in Minecraft. And this is typically what students would do. They would either create their own world, or they might work together to build a world. So if they're studying um, a historic event or maybe medieval civilization unit, they might go in and build a medieval village together. They research it and build it together. So with Code Builder, I'm going to come in and type slash code, and that will launch the Code Builder app. So when that pops up, we've pre-populated uh, three different editors that students could use. Um, MakeCode is a new op open source application for Microsoft. Scratch is from MIT Media Lab, and uh, it's really popular in schools. And then Tinker is another really popular Learn to Code app. I'm going to head and launch into Tinker. And what this does is it connects into their, their program. So if I'm a teacher that's already using Tinker in my classroom, it's really seamless for then you to uh, extend that experience into Minecraft. So here there's a set of tutorials already available. Um, we worked with them on this Rainbow Skies World, so I'm going to go ahead and launch that one because I love how that looks. So once I launched Rainbow Skies, um, in the tutorial we show some examples of some math being brought into that. So because a rainbow is a semicircle, we show the math behind that. So here is a little bit of detail in the tutorial on the different steps. If I click next, you can see the equation that would be used to calculate half a circle. Um, and that goes into the code here. So this one's already built, so I can actually just run it. So if I hit play and I switch over to this world, my rainbow, oops, you can see where my rainbow is. <laughs> Sorry. Where's my rainbow? There should be a rain. Oh, there. Oops, it's behind the. Uh, it's the rainbow built over here behind the buildings. So you can see my rainbow just popped into the world there. And it went right through the buildings in this one. So what if I'm going in and playing this? I can switch back over to code connection, and in this I can adjust the rainbow. So I can adjust the position of it. Um, by changing some of the location variables. I can adjust the size of it, and I can also go in and adjust the blocks. This is really fun um, because students just love the creativity that comes in. So when I click on this, I can start to see all the different Minecraft blocks that are available. This is where like that iteration and the, really the value of Minecraft comes in. So I could change. We use the purple block for purple, but if we decided we wanted more of a blue, we could use ice or pick different blocks. Um, so it really encourages that creative learning environment, self-directed. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome.